So that's why I'm here supporting you. I do have the, the, the privilege, the real privilege, to be a, a small part of this community in that I am the Catherine Hepburn Fellow in Women's Health this year at Bryn Mawr. I've come up several times, will continue to come up to talk to students. So I, this is a big chance for me to say I'm happy. You know, next time I'm back, I would love to talk to, to any and all of you about uh, the health policy, women's health policy issues that I work on, because that's actually part of my job here uh, with Bryn Mawr. But today, I, I I have the ability to talk about why I support uh, Senator Clinton for president. Uh, my particular story, um, and, I, and I'll drop back to for me it was not a hard decision from the very beginning of the campaign because I have seen her in action, worked with her on a couple of different issues over time, and know that she is both committed to the issues I care about most and have worked on most, and, and many others. Um, and actually then works to make a difference and make the change happen and succeed it. The particular story I tell um, happens to be about emergency contraception. And that's because I was head of women's health at the FDA. And the current administration um, did not want to allow emergency contraception to go over the counter. Now, I have to drop back and say emergency contraception is high-dose birth control pills. It is not the abortion pill. So all we were discussing at FDA was whether or not essentially another form of birth control pills should be available in a timely fashion for women, couples, who uh, due to rape, due to accidents, uh, due to whatever reason, um, needed emergency contraception very shortly after our protected sex. So this is what the issue was in a nutshell. And we ended up unfortunately not being able to get that approved over the counter while I was at the FDA. But now today it is approved for those 18 and older. And there's a long story behind all of this. But all of you, you know, many of you may not remember this two years ago when it was blocked by the administration and I ended up resigning my job as head of women's health from the FDA because of the disregard of the science and the medical evidence and frankly the disregard